Hi guys and welcome to today's video. It's going to be another stamping tutorial and um, like I said in one of my previous videos um, I really wanted to try out an Esmeltus de Kelly um, gradient stamping um, mani which is what I've done. I've actually used 10 colours for this design but only one stamping plate. So if you want to find out how to create this then just keep watching. Okay, so the plate that we're going to be using today is one of the new Mandela collection plates by Moe London. We're going to be using number one. And I chose this plate because of all the different designs on it. I just really love the intricacy of the designs of this one. So, yep, yeah, this is what we're going to be using. And then I'm going to be using my trusty marshmallow squishy stamper, which is just from Amazon. And then as well, I've got one of my Moe London credit card scrapers. For my base colour today, I've just used OPI Lady in Black. Um, obviously, you can use um, any black nail polish that you want to, or you can use um, gel polish or acrylic. Completely up to you what medium you're working in. Um, but just today, I'm just going to be doing it in nail polish. So, and these are all of the stamping polishes that we're going to be using today. Um, if you've seen one of um, my similar videos where I've used Mundo de Unies, um, you know, I'll leave the link for that down below for some of my other designs that I've done. But just for today, I'm going to be using all Elsmeltus to Kelly stamping polishes. So we've got Lisa, Joanna, Fluffy, Hedwig, Dixie, Tuco, Ringo, Hippopo, Icaro and Frogger. So and obviously I'll tell you which ones I'm using um, as we get to that point. So then just for afterwards, I'm going to be top coating with my trusty Seche Vite. Obviously you can top coat um, which with it, whatever you want. Um, if you're using gel, obviously you use a gel top coat. And then I've just got my trusty Eco Tools eyeshadow brush just to clean up around the edges. Okay, so obviously the first step is to do your base color, as I've said, I've just used black nail polish. You can use gel polish if you want. Just done two coats and let them dry completely. And if you're using gel polish, um, make sure you're curing in between each layer. So firstly, we're gonna get our plate and um, just get a cotton pad and some acetone to wipe the plate clean. So we're gonna be starting off with our two colors, which are Lisa and Joanna. So we're gonna be using Lisa, um, which is the paler color, on the right hand side of the image and then we're going to be using Joanna which is the red on on the left hand side so and all I'm going to do is just pick sort of random images from the plate and just start stamping so get your scraper and scrape down and as you're sort of scraping again you're sort of molding in the middle to get a nice transition colour so and then making sure you've got even parts just go from cuticle to free edge just like that so then next two colours are fluffy and is widges which translates to Hed Hedwig so we're going to be using the paler colour on the right hand side and the darker one on the left <laughs> Next up, going to be using Dixie and Tuco, and obviously having the lighter side on the right and the darker one on the left. So, and I'm actually going to turn my plate this way because I want to get these triangles in. Again, I'm just turning the plate the other side because I want to try and get this section in here and I'm going to be using Ringo and Hopopo and again using the light 
colour for the right hand side and the darker colour for the left. So then finally we've got Icaro and Frogger and again using the lighter colour for the right hand side and the darker colour for the left. So and I want to use this whole middle bit here so I'm just going to keep the plate as it is. So now I'm going to clean up around the edges, top coat, and then I'll be back with you. So, and here we have the final result. Now, obviously, if you wanted to just do sort of one colour combination and one part of the design, that is completely up to you. You know, I'm just giving you sort of ideas really here of, um, of what you can do with these plates. Um, and obviously, you know, even if you've got sort of similar colours, you don't have to use exactly the same colours as me. And, um, you know, even if you've got a plate that's got all different images on, you know, have a play around, you know, see what you can do and see what you can create. I mean, actually, I really love this thumbnail. <laughs> I think that, that looks really, really cool with the greens. So, and obviously the wonderful thing about these as Melters to Kelly ones is they blend really nicely together so um that's that's also really, really nice so i hope that you liked this tutorial and i hope i've given you some ideas of what you might want to create please like and subscribe for future videos and i will see you all again soon bye